All right, so this is 7.3 number 35, which really may as well come in at chapter four. Oh, <laughs> and they give me a picture. So they say this rectangle, meaning this one, is four centimeters longer than it is wide. Find the dimensions if the area is eight centimeters squared. What do I mean this may as well come out of 7.4? What's 7.4 about? Yeah, 7.4 is about word problems. Here's a word problem. We need to remember a word problem strategy. Did I give you guys a strategy for word problems in here? Okay. So once we've got a word problem strategy, what's our first step? Okay. Don't panic. Breathe. It'll all be okay. Okay, so this is relatively unpanicky, right? This one's pretty chill. Okay, so good place to start. Uh, what's my next step after I don't panic? Read it. Read it first, then try to draw a picture of it. Okay, so I read it. I find they've got a rectangle that's longer than it is wide. What are the dimensions, right? Okay. Uh, they already drew a picture for me. Okay. Can I do any? Can I make any improvements to their picture? W plus four. Oh, that's a good idea. You guys all see that? Yeah. Or I could even just label the length, right? I could call it L. But I know what L is. L's four centimeters longer than whatever the width is. They already labeled the width, right? Okay. So we might label this side W plus four. And then what am I supposed to do after I've drawn a picture? Math. Yeah, I'm supposed to turn words into math. Okay, so what are the words I should try to turn into math? Let's see, I already turned this kind of into math, right? That was labeling this side W plus 4, right? Oh, that's a great idea. You guys hear him? Why do I have three blue markers? Oh, that's my green one. Okay. So the other sentence I want to turn into math is this one, right? So this sentence to me says area equals eight centimeters squared. You guys cool with that? Okay, so what else is area of this rectangle? Oh yeah, it's length times width, right? So the width is W, and then the length is W plus 4. And what was this again? Yeah, this was the area, right? So this is area, but area is also 8 centimeters squared. Right, so these two things have to be the same. So I find out that W times W plus 4 is 8. That's cool with that? All right, now what? Say again. Why didn't you square the 8? Why didn't I square the 8? Ah, because it's the units that are squared centimeters? Yeah, if they had wanted to square the whole thing, they would have done this. But really, they just put the squared on the centimeters. And I usually drop units. That's not really a great habit. If you want to keep the units through this, that's not a bad idea. All right, what do I do with this business? Distribute the W. Distribute the W, why? What are you going for? <laughs> Yeah, you're going to turn it into a quadratic that you recognize, right? So you should be aiming for one of the techniques, like factor, use the zero product rule, or extract roots, or complete the square and then extract the roots, or the quadratic formula, right? You got to aim for something. 
So I'd aim for one of those. Any of those are going to mandate that I have to multiply this out. So let's do that. So what do you get when you multiply it out? W squared plus 4w equals 8. Equals eight. OK, subtract 8. Because you guys are going for quadratic formula. OK. So if we subtract 8, we've got w squared plus 4w minus 8 is 0. Then what? Yeah, then I should cram all of this in the quadratic formula, right? So what do I want to think? One, four, and negative eight. Okay. And then I need to remember the quadratic formula, right? Okay. It's a good spot to pause. All right. So let's finish seven point three number thirty-five. We had gotten to. We were looking for the area of a rectangle or something, dimensions of a rectangle, and we got to this point. So what do we do now? Yeah, now we should plug it in the quadratic formula. We have the if part of the quadratic formula, right? So then we can say, OK, so w has to be what? Negative 4 plus or minus. I really recommend that you write this thing down next to it instead of trying to remember the, all the pieces. So I personally would do that. Okay, so now I've got it written down next to this. Now I can just plug stuff in, right? Okay, so I got negative four plus or minus square root square root of good four squared minus four times one times eight with a negative. I really advise for writing all of it down as stupid as it seems. Over over two times one. Okay, then let's simplify. So we get w is negative 4 plus or minus square root of 16 plus 32. It's that plus that I really advise writing it down for. Over 2. Okay, so now I've got w is negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 48 over 2. Okay, now I want to think about 48, right? So 48 is 4 times 12, or 16 times 3. Did you guys all see the 16 times 3 right at first? Wired. So 4 times 12, right? OK, let's work with 4 times 12, just because we saw that one first. right? Maybe we didn't see the 16. That's fine. So we've got negative 4 plus or minus. What's the square root of 4? 2. 2 times square root of 12 over 2. Oh, and then 12 I can do better, right? So I might look at 12 and think that's 4 times 3. So this is negative 4 plus or minus 2 times 2 times the square root of 3, right? Did you all see that? Over 2. Who wants to cancel at 2? How do you cancel a 2 on that? OK, I can separate it into plus and minus and then cancel 2's. I can do it here. It's a little bit wonky, but I can do it here. Really, I want to factor a 2 out of the top to cancel it, right? You guys see that? So I might think to myself, OK, let's see. If I take a 2 out of the top, what am I left with in there? Negative 2 plus or minus 2 times square root. You guys see that? 
I got a two out of each piece, right? If I want to check this, I could distribute back in. Right here, we're undistributing. And you can take a two from the bottom as well. Oh, yeah. This two right on the bottom, I could really think about that as two times one. And then this stuff is a one, right? What I call a onesie, right? So once I find my little onesie, what can I do with it? Cancel it, get rid of it. Really, I'm just not writing it. You guys all see that? This is multiplication by one, which doesn't matter. So I may as well not write it. So what am I left with? Negative two plus or minus two root three. Cool. Say again. Oh, these guys? Yeah, I really am. Okay, but the other two can't? Yeah, I can't get rid of these twos. Because I've got one on top and one on bottom. That's enough for me to cancel. I can't cancel one on top with two on the bottom. Or, sorry, two on the top with one on the bottom. It just kind of doesn't matter. You guys see that? I'm really pairing them up into a, this is a two divided by a two, that's one. I don't need that object. Cool this? Am I done? Are these my W's? Okay, there's two answers, right? So W is negative two plus two root threes, or W is negative two minus two root threes, right? Yeah? Well, since this is solid measurement, it should be just a positive one. You guys all see that? Yeah. You say, since it's a measurement, it better be the positive one. The other one doesn't make much sense. So I can drop, wait, which one's negative? Um, that one's negative? Is that one negative too? No. Why not? Its answer is positive. Why is it positive? No. This is saying I have two things, right? Plus, wait, two anti things, right? Plus, Two root threes. How big is a root three? A bit bigger than one. How do I know it's bigger than one? Because it's in between one and four. Yeah, because three is in between one and four, right? So root three better be between one and two. You see that? Okay, so this is something a little bit bigger than one. So my things outnumber my anti-things, and I'm left with some part of something, at least. You guys see that? Cool. So this was really a word problem, and my last step on word problems was? Yeah, write a sentence like a person. So what's my sentence? What was the question? Find the dimensions of the area. Find the dimensions when the area is A, right? So what are the dimensions of my rectangle? Okay, good start. The dimensions of the rectangle are negative 2 plus 2 root 3, right? And so that's the width. And two plus two root threes. Where did I get that? Yeah, I added four to this thing, right? You guys all see that? Okay. Maybe another better phrasing would be to say the dimensions of the rectangle are this, not and this, but times. Times is close. What, what's the kind of construction word for times? Phi. So it's 2, well, it's whatever this is, phi, whatever that is. Cool? If we were doing a really good job, we would say centimeters and centimeters, right, the units that we were given in our problem. I'm not so, so concerned about units, but 
they're probably a good practice to get. Cool? Questions? Right.